Hello folks and welcome back. So in the last episode, I, or it may have been episode two, I was talking about how I went all over YouTube to search for modding videos to teach you how to mod Stranded Alien Dawn. But to no avail, I've, I've seen all kinds of YouTubes on mods, maybe how to install mods, but basically showcasing mods. Um, and, you know, just going back to what I had mentioned before, m my videos are teaching you how to mod Stranded Alien Dawn. And from what I can tell, the only videos out there that actually is teaching you how to mod Alien Stranded Dawn for your own benefit and your own pleasures and interests and stuff like that is my videos. So folks i hope that you do enjoy the content now i during my search of modding tutorials for alien stranded dawn because of youtube's algorithms i can't even it, it don't even pull up my videos whenever i search for it which i think is kind of uh suspect at best and at the very least disingenuous so what I done, it, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, some of y'all may have noticed that I had went and changed my titles to Modding Stranded Alien Dawn. Hopefully that brings it up. Uh, whenever I searched for Modding Alien Stranded Dawn, it did bring up my last video, episode three, but it didn't bring up episode one or two videos in the search queue on YouTube. So with that being said, I... Have, I have to think that it's because there's very few likes on the videos. So guys, if you would please, when you watch these modding videos of how to mod Stranded Alien Dawn, please give a thumbs up and hit the like button. Uh, you know, you don't have to subscribe to my channel if you don't want that. That's, you know, certainly fine, you know, certainly your choice. But at the very least, if you would please hit the like button the thumbs up like button that way other players of this beautiful awesome game they can find my modern videos uh, a little easier at best so you know just a quick little reminder on that all right now this is uh episode four now we were uh in the last episode we were having trouble with uh ken uh overwriting the default kin and all that stuff uh, so let's go ahead and start up with uh our mod manager uh for those of y'all that are just actually tuning in crash course uh go to options set your uh full screen mode to window and then it'll, it'll click apply and it'll make your uh game windowed like this which is a lot easier to tab back and forth to the mod and stuff like that okay uh, and then it come right here hit mod manager mod editor uh, now we created a, a, a uh, stream mod that's the name of our mod so let's go ahead and create mod it uh, left click on mod editor I'm trying to catch y'all up without having to go back and get a whole tutorial on that uh, that would be episode one of these modding videos and stuff like that guys for y'all that just now finding the mod videos because I haven't, I, ha I, ha I haven't even found none on Google search, Bing search, or nothing like that as far as how do you mod the game, uh, you know, let alone a video showing you how to mod. So, guys, I do hope that y'all do like this content. Okay. Now, it will bring up your web browser. Go ahead and just close that out. Or if you won't, drag it off to another monitor or whatever. I have to quickly close it out because if not, my recording software will stop. Let's go ahead and go and here and just kind of pause that real quick all right let's go ahead and click down here all right and when you uh, go into mod editor it'll bring up this window right here now we're working on stream mod because I'm streaming the mod and stuff like that now for those of y'all just tuning in uh, you will create your new mod right here with that you shouldn't have none of these mods a lot of these mods are ones that I downloaded off of uh, the workshop uh, but anyhow for us that's already watched episode one, two, and three, we're just going to go ahead and click into our 
uh, double click on our load mod right there all right now uh, mod can I think the problem is is that I have this ID right here so let's remove this ID we're gonna save our mod okay actually let's, let's go ahead and type in Ken okay let's go ahead and save that and I think that's why it's not overwriting the default mod so we're gonna go ahead and save that um, let's see we, we will be able to tell which ones are our, our, our modded Ken okay this is our modded Ken all right now let's go ahead and test this real quick let's go ahead and go to main menu okay Let's go ahead and go to new game. It doesn't matter, crash land or whatever, because uh, it's going to affect all of them. All right, now we want to look. And before we changed Ken, that uh, made uh, there was two Kens there. So now you see that, that there's not two Kens there. So uh, we know that this mod is going to work. Okay, and to show you. Uh, Give me just one second. There we go. All right. To show you, see, he's uh, an experienced scavenger. He's an avid carpenter. He's compassionate. He's a combat instructor. Uh, he's an avid carpenter. Okay, we need to take one of those away. <laughs> uh, he's a farmer. All right. So that's what we want to... Oh, and remember, we uh, changed where he starts with um, um, the pistol and the carbon armor and all that stuff. Okay, now you can name the character whoever you want to name and stuff like that, which I'll show you here in just a second. Because I know I said we was going to do some other things in the, this episode, but I got to thinking, you know what, let's modify our, our mod Ken, our Ken mod, uh, to change a few things about him and stuff like that. Alright, let's we'll go ahead and pause this. Alright, let's look at Ken and... See, he still starts with the mod laser. Remember, it's the lasers that we modded in episode three where he shoots really, really fast. Okay, so now everything's working. Uh, our Ken mod overwrote the default game mod. Okay. All right, now let's go ahead and go back to uh, main menu. Let's go back to mod manager, mod editor. Now we already have this pulled up and it's not gonna affect nothing all right now let's go in here to our kin uh we can actually minimize this and i'll tell y'all something else too guys you can uh take and you can get right here in one of your corners and you can actually make this a little bit smaller if you wanted to that's fine too which that you know will actually work a lot easier for you transitioning between the windows and stuff like that so we'll, we'll do that for this this episode um if my voice Kind of trails off it's because i'm turning my head toward my monitor all right so we got that over there now let's go in here and let's uh uh let's just kind of change this and let's just put our own little description in here uh mod version of ken this ken i guess i can spell his name right the capital ken is our stream version which we learned how to overwrite write the games now understand the mod is if you turn the mod off the game will go back to regular default regular kin will come back and all that stuff okay uh, the game's default kin there we go App. come on there we go All right. now we want to go in here and we want to do some things and stuff like that um, so Ken has the avid avid carpenter let's change him from an avid carpenter to oh I don't know um, uh, let's cooking recipes yeah, let's make him a cooking recipe. All right. Um, now, I wanted to show you all some other things. Uh, let me find. We can go ahead and close that tab. Um, visuals, visuals. Ah, right here. Uh, beard. Ken doesn't have a, a, a B 
beard. Well, Arkin doesn't have a beard. Let's give him a um, an admin beard. Uh, let's give him a mustache as well. Okay, this is gonna be cool. Uh, let's give him a mustache. Hold on, just one second, guys. Um, uh, hey, baby, welcome back. Uh, the missus just came back with food and all that stuff. All right, so we're gonna give Arkin a a beard an admin beard and then we're going to give him a uh mustache and then we're going to give him uh a head like henry i don't know i don't even know who henry is uh but you know you can experiment how you want to experiment too uh all right now let's go to our hair um hair color let's go with a hair color top Oh, let's give him some crazy ass red hair. Booker, stop. Thank you. Um, yeah, and the hair color bottom. Let's go with a, a darker brown. Um, or a darker red. All right, and then hair color three. Let's go ahead and spice that up. Yeah, let's give him maybe a brighter. Now, I don't know what that uh, is going to look like. A hair color roughness. Let's give him some rough. Let's give him 50% hair roughness. Uh, let's give him, uh, let's give him two minute count. Hair spec strength. Let's give, uh, a little bit. We're just changing things just so slightly, um, to, you know, kind of change things on the character in game. Now, he's still going to have the same, uh, picture and stuff like that because we haven't, learn how to do that uh hair softness give them some nice luscious luxurious hair softness okay now um we're gonna go ahead and leave his hair like that now let's see animation walk run that's basically standard um animation speed and all that stuff uh let's see mm, let's see animation that's standard uh that uh alert standard happy standard those are all standard animations for all characters throughout the game now i'm sure you can customize those but i don't know exactly how to do that just yet um i'm pretty sure you have to bring in your own um um your own um model and stuff like that with its own entity and all that stuff uh let's see all right Let's go right here with our skin color. Let's kind of change these around a little bit. Let's give a little bit of that. A uh, little bit of that. Uh, let's go ahead and change this color just a little bit. Let's give him some orange skin. Let's just make him look like an Oopa Loopa. <laughs> uh, let's see. Base color. Uh, let's see. Let's go down with that one. There we go. Uh, let's see. Base color here. Uh, let's go with, uh, there we go. Alright, now let's go ahead and save that. Okay. It'll take just a second to save. Alright, now, um, what we can do is if we hit the tilt key, uh, well, first of all, let's get over here around our survivors. Um, and let's zoom in roughly about right here because where that's at, the center of your screen right here, not necessarily where your cursor is, is where it's going to spawn. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit our tilt key. For those of y'all that don't know what your tilt key is, if you look at the top of your keyboard, you'll see a set of numbers going 1 through 9 and then 0 on the right side of the 9 key. Well, if you go all the way back to the 1 key, there's a funny looking key that is to the left hand side of your number 1 key at the top of your keyboard. And it has like a little squiggly line going from left to right. It looks like a sideways S uh, on some keyboards. And then it looks like a uh, backwards comma as well. That's the tilt key. So if you push the tilt key, it'll bring up this little cheats tab right here. Well, we're going to left click on that. And then we're going to go down here, spawn character. And we're going to place Ken right there. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and, uh, oops, I'm pushing buttons. Go ahead and we're going to close that cheat menu and all that stuff. All right. Now, if you look, there's our Ken. 
Uh, let's uh, let's select him. Let's draft him. Let's bring him. Let's bring him up here. There we go. Well, what we're doing is we're putting him on this uh, mountain right here. Oh, I got to unpause it so he'll get over there. Um, we're going to bring him up here. Oh, stuff's still crashing. That way we can look at him and get a real good look at him. Come on, Ken. Get over there. Move, Ken. Move. Okay. Oh, stop. Now I want to turn him back around. All right. Now I want to pause the game. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to kind of get right here. Right. That looks like that's going to be the, kind of the best uh, screenshot that I can get. So I think it's F12. Or F11. Either which way, uh, I know my... Uh, uh, maybe it's F6. Okay, well, anyhow, get a screenshot of that. Uh, and then just go ahead and uh, find wherever you saved it and all that stuff. And then go from there. But that's our modded kin. That's what we've done. We've changed things around and all that stuff. And in the next episode, we're going to learn how to change the portrait. Because you have to do the portraits in a different manner. Okay. And I'll show you all that in the next episode. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and just mess around with those settings a little bit and you know to your liking to your um you know ideal or whatever it is that you you want you know just experiment have a little fun with it you know i'm on bob browsey this is your world have a little fun with it uh and as i was mentioning at the beginning of the vid video if you if you're watching these videos please hit the thumbs up and the like uh the the like button because what that does is that's going to help other people who want to know how to mod this game that's going to help them to find these videos and it's going to help them to learn how to mod this game with its mod editor as well because like i had mentioned i have searched youtube i have searched the internet and the only videos that i have found so far that give any tutorial on how to mod stranded alien dawn is my videos but because we all know how youtube and their algorithms are because not many people well there's a couple of likes on one or two of the videos but the more likes the videos get the more that youtube's going to bring them up in the search field and stuff like that so guys let's try to help each other out and help others out that want to learn how to mod this game with that guys happy gaming and happy modding and i will see y'all in the next video